Aloha. Welcome to Mass Blue Reviews. I'm Adam. I'm Athena. We've been drinking. Started off with Jameson earlier today. That was just him. That was just me. But then I had and some drinks. We went to Brook. We went to a restaurant and we had food and another drink. You could say it. We like them. Oh, Bruco. We yeah, we Bruco. Bruco. Yeah. Bru Maui Brewing Company is what it's called. And we got into we a heated discussion in the middle of the restaurant. We did. We did. So we, we decided we had to do a movie, mass movie review on <coughs> Star Wars in general. Our heated discussion was on Star Wars. All the Star Wars. All the Star Wars stuff. We just started asking all kinds. We just and discovered got, there's a movie we haven't seen. Oh, there's a couple that I have seen them all. Apparently she hasn't. Ewok Adventure and the Hall, Star Wars what Holiday Ewok? Special. I've seen them both. She has I, not. I didn't see that. That was like early 80s, yeah. It was. There's a couple we other... We just watched the preview. I was like, Star oh, Wars, that yeah, looks horrible. Really, Let's watch Really it. bad. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> Okay, the general Star Wars universe, the original trilogy, 4, 5, and 6, prequels 1, 2, and 3, plus um, Clone, Clone Wars, Wars Rebels, Rebels, 7, 8, and 9, yes. The Rise of Skywalker, which just came out, which we just Han saw. Soul Stories. And Rogue One. And Rogue One. So, okay. all Star of Wars it. Universe. This is Star Wars universe and canon. We're not including Wikipedia or Wookiepedia. We're not going to include any of the old legends. We're just going to include commonly used canon now. Although, the new force power that Rey has, where she's all like, I will heal you, and Baby Yoda did it, that is old canon. And the Mandalorian. Yep, but that's old canon <clears throat> from uh, Knights of the Old Republic, where they have the I can heal you power. So, that's fucking sweet. But That is sweet. But that was, a, that's that like was super part of the Jedi. old stuff. Yoda never did that. No, he never did. But that was part of the old stuff that we were told years ago that Disney was not going to include in canon. And apparently they're bringing some of the old stuff, the old legendary stuff, back in as Yeah, canon. but Disney said they went rogue and whatever XI, is in is in. Like all the movies are in but and they, all the shit they're adding done stuff from the in. old canon is what I just said. But they can, but they, they don't have to stick to it. They don't have to stick to it. But once they yeah. add it as canon, that's it. It's, it's, it's in. fucking law, man. Right. So, this is Star Wars Discussions. Star Wars Discussions on Mass a, Movie Reviews. On Mass Movie Reviews over a heavy Thanks alcohol Sunday. We did a lot of stuff today. It was super fun. Hung a bunch of painting, art, pictures. We did. Hung family we pictures. We cleaned. And we cleaned. And, yeah, we did And then stuff. we had drinks. And then we had drinks. Yeah. we had drinks. We had drinks while we were cleaning. Okay. Star Wars okay. General. Star Wars okay, General. so... Just a little background. We grew up with four, five, and six, the original trilogy, so... They already know all of this. Maybe they haven't watched the other episodes. I don't know. You should. Our fans watch everything, watch everything we do. Watch everything. Okay. So, anyway, so I have a special affinity for four, five, and six. We all do. But here's don't the thing. Me I have been, we've been taking, not putting a Star Wars video, because for our Star Wars has been so special to us, and now that the last one is over, we're like, fuck it, we're doing a bunch of Star Wars ones, because we, we've been skipping. And the only reason right? I'm not wearing a Star Wars shirt is because I wore all my Star Wars stuff in the last two days, and all it's my in Star the laundry Wars basket. Stuff is <laughs> yeah, all mine's in the laundry basket. Because we just saw the yeah. new movie twice, and it came out two days ago. Yeah. So, anyway. Star Wars discussions. Favorite movie. Dude, it favorite includes movie. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Favorite and of the, of the, the others? No, favorite. Okay. And yes. the others. And, and Rogue we'll One call and Rogue Han Solo. And Han Solo stories. Okay, yes, this I'll is include, in the universe. I'll include all of them okay. as movies. Favorite Star Wars movie. Favorite Star Wars movie. Okay, so 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 favorite Star Wars movie. And it is currently in my contention for being my new favorite Star Wars movie. But I can't say Contention? For You're cont contentiously? I'm contentiously you, considering you, it. That's not the right word. My bad. Alcohol, Alcohol. has gotten to you. It's, You're considering. I'm considering it in the realm of being my new favorite Star Wars movie. Contentiously? But I've only seen it twice, so I can't totally decide. But I think, yeah, that's probably it. But not knowing for sure my previous to The Rise of Skywalker. Was Rogue One was my favorite, wow. which took over one of the original trilogy. But Rogue One is so good. I love Rogue One. And it was funny. I was talking to a client of mine, and she was like, "Oh, I don't like Rogue One. It's so sad." And oh, I was like, "Well, yeah. It's like right before Number Four, and like that sort of how it had to happen, right?" Yeah. And it is sad. And the ending is. She's like, "The ending's so sad." I'm like, yes. It's such a good movie. 
love Rogue One. Okay. Empire. There is the Horizon. Everybody says Empire. Because it's fucking awesome. Mm, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I fucking love it. Empire. But I would pick A New Hope or Return of the Jedi You're over like Empire. You're like the cusp of being anything. not a Gen X or Millennial. You're like on that little teetering I am edge. In the and because you're on that teetering edge, you don't say Empire. The rest of us who are past that but millennial why? We're into the Gen As X. As a movie are, by itself. It's amazing. It's a great movie. It's so good. But it's. The love story between Han and, and Leia is revealed. Boba motherfucking. Greatest love fat story of all time. Comes out. Boba Fett. The Empire is kicking the good guy's ass and chasing them around the galaxy nonstop. The good guys are constantly losing. And at the end, the good guys have not won at all. They're like so beat That's down. Crazy. Luke lost a fucking hand, but there's hope for tomorrow. They're like, we're still going to win. Right? I, I'm telling you, Empire. If it's not Empire, then I think Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. You loved Rogue One. Part three. I love. I thought Rogue, Rogue One. One was his favorite. I love Rogue One. Rogue One's not my favorite. Rogue One is like. Excuse me. Rogue One <laughs> is like Kelly's Heroes or The Dirty Dozen. It's an old World War II movie, in my opinion. It's a World War II movie. No, it is. It's a World War II movie where this band of ragtag. No, no, probably no, no, wouldn't. no, but no, think no, about no, it. no, no. They like. We're, no, we're not no. really. I heroes. get what you're saying. I get what he's saying, but. No. This young one over here has never seen Kelly's Heroes. Yes, I have. has she seen The Dirty Dozen. So... Ooh, I have. But I don't remember So the scenes when they're getting set up and we're getting ready to like do the big attack is the same fucking music as World One when they're all like... You explain all the music. Right? Like, like it's the same music. It's the same thing. It's a ragtag group of heroes who are probably all going to die. Old World One movies are... Most of them die in Kelly's Heroes. Where's Most of Rogue them One? Is die right? in in the Dirty Dozen. <gasps> That's so those World War plays. It's like the '60s or something like that. It's like a boomers movie, right? Like that's super old. <laughs> like you? I'm not a boomer. <laughs> no, it's super old, like you. I'm not super old. He's older so, than me, so I get to pick on. Him. Honestly, I really. <gasps> pardon me, alcohol. I really. Alcohol. We have a lot of alcohol. <laughs> I honestly think that I really love Empire because I have such fond memories of it and it's just everything about it I love. Now, I really love Rogue One. I really like Han Solo stories. I, I like them all, but the one I watch the most, the one I've watched the most, the Is one Empire? I turn on in the background when I'm painting sometimes or drawing See, or working. For me, the one I've watched the most and all of that where I'm just like, what Star Wars am I going to just throw on in the background? It's always a new home. Oh, apparently we're smoking today. <laughs> we're supposed to be quitting. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's bad. Don't smoke, kids. Yeah, whiskey's awesome. This is not a good one for kids. Whiskey's awesome. For me, it's always a new hope. That's, yeah, we're a little bit drunk. Yeah. That's in the background. Okay. That was always, like, okay, all right. I f that is my favorite Star That's Wars really movie good. up until Rogue One, and I just... <sighs> Love, love, All right, moving on. Four. We've established no, no, wait, what we wait, love. Wait. No, moving on. But, okay. we got to move wait, on. Wait, 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 wait. we got to move on. Before we move on, before we move on, do you think that episode nine, The Rise of Skywalker, is in the works to possibly be your new favorite all-time Star Wars? It is. Because it's definitely in my It words. is definitely. So it could. It could it's definitely so become my favorite. Oh, my God, it's so it good. Could. It's so good. It is really good. And so generally, we don't go to the theater for much. We watch a lot at home. We've been to the theater twice. Because we like to hang out with We've been out of the house a lot lately. For Star Wars, new yeah. Star Wars movies, we go twice to the theater, and usually that's it. And for this oh. one, like, today is the third day it's been out. And we're oh, like, it's so good. Should we go again? She's a fucking Palpatine. Okay, oh, my God. <laughs> She's so powerful. It's so good. Oh, my God. It's so, good. Fingers. Ah. so that could be potentially my new favorite. Impossible. All right, we got to move on. Okay. Moving on. Favorite... Favorite Star Wars planet. Planet? Yeah, what's your favorite planet? Weird question. Why it's not? Was that weird? What's your favorite Star Wars planet? I'm kind of torn between Kashyyyk and Ilium. Barely get to see Kashyyyk. Which one's Ilium? The Ilium is uh, 
the, test the, in my knowledge. The Jedi planet where they have the big ice, ice planet, which became the fucking. Is that um, where they the went back to weapon. the base at the no, end of eight? No, no, no. Ilium is the Jedi's planet where they. I have to fucking look it up. But it's the planet where they go and they get their crystals. They're the, the kyber, kyber crystals, crystals okay. as little padawans. They mm. will get their kyber crystals. And it's a to super frozen planet, super cold. It's also the same planet, from what I understand, which was converted into the giant weapon in episode seven. Seven, eight, eight. Seven. 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 <laughs> Hold on. So, so I, I like I like Kashyyyk. I like Kashyyyk because I really like the Kashyyyk or Kashyyyk? Kashyyyk, Kashyyyk, whatever I call it. Kashyyyk. I, I like it. Kashyyyk milk. But then there's Tatooine. I have, have a really like I like <laughs> I've had too much to drink. <laughs> I like Kashi. I really do. You like Kashi. I have okay, no on. idea. My favorite planet Naboo. Oh really? I mean other than Jar Jar running around and possibly running into, because fuck that. Naboo is beautiful. And when they when she go, what is it, episode two when she goes back with Anakin and you know, before they get secretly married on Naboo. And they're like hanging out because she's hiding from the people who are trying to kill her. Padme. 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 Whatever your name Mustafa, is. Mustafa. Padme Amidala. It's a beautiful place. It's beautiful. And they're like in this little, I'm, you know, perfectly rich castle, I'm sure, because who doesn't have one of those? And the beautiful lake and the water and oh, Naboo. And now he's you know sidetracked. What? I'm going to change my answer. Naboo? Tatooine. The best, are you fucking kidding me? The one that, the best one that you like. Not the best one, the best one that you like. Why would you like Tatooine? Do you see how we got into a heated debate in the middle of a restaurant? Oh, oh my God, we, we did, we totally we did. did. We did, Why right. would you like Tatooine? Why? Why? Dear God, why? All the really cool shit happens there. Got some raiders camped out on the Raiders dudes. camped out. <laughs> Jawas everywhere. Just because the shit, cool shit in movies there. happen there doesn't it's make on, it an awesome place. It's on the outer rim, so it's always like where it's kind of really dangerous. Okay. And lawless. So instead of favorite planet, Obi if the Wan question Kenobi was. was wait, 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 wait. And I it's, like the desert. I spent a lot of time in the desert. I like the desert. So my, my answer is Tatooine. Okay. If I the like question Tatooine. was slightly different, and instead of your favorite planet, it was what place would you like to visit, would it still be Tatooine? Probably, no, probably it would Kashyyyk. not be Tatooine. I'd go with Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk. Giant, massive, bigger than bigger trees. And I, I would go there. That crazy, sounds cool. And Wookiees are cool, man. And they're huge. And they're like, live the several hundred years The is very dangerous. Old. They have giant spiders. And everything is big. Oh. Everything eats you. But I, it's like I, a super I, monster world. If it is. Smart. Yeah, right. So, there's that. Star okay, Wars favorite friends. droid. I have a special place in my heart for R2, and I always do. will. We I think do. we everybody always will, but I love BB. Why do you love BB? Tell them why you love BB. I love BB because, like, when he flies across the room from an explosion, he makes a volleyball boink sound. <laughs> I fucking love that because he's so very volleyball. And I don't understand, okay, Target has all the Star Wars toys, and we went and bought a volleyball for a friend of ours, and they don't have a BB volleyball. This is true. Seriously? How do you not have a BB volleyball? Because I would buy that, even though we very rarely R2-D2. I love R2. Okay, I mean, favorite. R2. Help me, help me, help me. Help me. He's in every single one of them, beginning to end. He is. Yep. He is. Wait, except for the two extras. But the Star Wars generally no, universe one No, he's in Rogue One. So is C-3PO. They're, okay. in the, they're in the fucking hangar. Oh, very briefly. And okay. he has a brief spot in Solo Stories when they're rolling through. Brief spot. Rolling through? Rolling through where? Uh, well, maybe he's not in Han Solo I don't think he's in Han Solo. Oh, he might right. be in Rogue One, though. He's in Rogue he One. He was in Rogue One for like... In Rogue One. With him and 3 po were in Rogue Yeah, they're like, oh my god, I hate space flight, right? Oh, right. Like, so yeah. glad I don't have to get on the ship or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's R2-D2 for me. I love R2. Favorite Jedi. Don't forget Be about Chapa. Best Jedi. How about this? Fuck favorite. Best Jedi ever. But best and favorite are two totally different best. categories. Okay, no. Look. I know what you're going to say. He thinks Obi-Wan is the best Jedi. Obi-Wan Obi Kenobi is the best Jedi of all time. Probably better than Rey and more powerful than Rey. More. No, I don't agree at all. Obi-Wan Kenobi I think is that the best Jedi of all time. Since the Rise of Skywalker, Episode 9, 
I think that Rey is the most powerful Jedi of all. Because she does all kinds of shit that none, nobody else did. Not even Master Yoda, not fucking Obi-Wan. She does all like dark side lightning powers and shit. She's a Palpatine. She she's is got, a Palpatine. She's got like the dark side in her blood. She does. She does. Which makes her very powerful, but she uses her power for good things. Sometimes it backfires. Obi-Wan Kenobi is the, most, the best Jedi of all. I love Obi-Wan too, don't get me wrong. Uh, my favorite scene with Obi-Wan is when he's on Tatooine and, um, uh, God, what's the fucking, I can't even remember his name, God damn it, the alcohol. But they're on Tatooine and he kills, uh, he has that last sword battle with, uh, Darth Maul? With Darth Maul. But who's the young, Which is what, the young Padawan Wars. that's there? No, it's not. It's in, um, Rebels. Rebels. The TV, the cartoon show Rebels. It's all extra shit. So, well, that's, that's canon, but he's on there, and his sword battle, his last battle with Darth Maul is probably it's true. It's one really good. of the greatest, I think it's one I of agree, the greatest I agree, and I'm disappointed it's in cartoon battles. form and not, like, uh, live action form, because it is probably, God, if that was really in live good. action form, it's And the still dude who plays Darth Maul is really good at that shit. Yeah. He was also in, what was the movie you watched? Fanboys. Oh, yeah. If you're a Star Wars freak like we are and you haven't seen Fanboys, you have to fucking check it out. You will good. love it. It's awesome. Yeah, it's Anyway, good. okay, so favorite Jedi. I think Rey is going to be the best Jedi. Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan Kenobi Obi-Wan's is my cool. favorite Jedi. I think he's the best Jedi of all time. Yeah. That's what I think. He survived the purge. Is that a real... Can we ask that question? Nah, I don't really care. I mean, Darth Vader's awesome. But he really needs to be I don't really care about the Sith. That was really, I don't really like, oh, the Sith are cool, man. Okay. I like, I like... Favorite all-time Star Wars character ever? Ooh. 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 Ooh, fuck. Now that I asked it, I have no idea what Obi-Wan it's. Kenobi. That's easy for me. I got a bar. Why is that not your favorite? Why can't I have my favorite character? You can have your favorite character. It's Obi-Wan But I totally Kenobi. disagree. Well, like, you're Obi-Wan. Dead, but it's not about disagreeing or agreeing. It's about, like, this is my... This is Star Wars Yes, it is. It's mass movie review See, discussions. this is why it got heated at the restaurant, because she yeah. was all like, how could you chose Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan. 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 Obi-Wan's okay. not the my best. My favorite all time ever. everyone around ever. us is like, are they arguing over Star Wars? <laughs> Ooh, favorite Star Wars character. Why? Okay. Chewbacca. Barf. I'm gonna vomit at your choice. <laughs> really, Chewbacca? I fucking love cool. Chewie. Chewbacca. I hope that someday we adopt a dog that looks like Chewie, and we're gonna name him Chewie. Cause I that agree. would be fucking awesome. I, agree. I love Chewie. Okay. He's everywhere, and he's always in the background. Like episode four, he didn't get a medal. What the fuck? How come Chewie didn't get a medal? He got a medal at the end of this He one. got a medal at the <laughs> end of episode nine. Yeah. It took him nine fucking movies to get a medal. Dude, and that's 250 bullshit. years old? At the end of nine. At the end of nine, he's 250 years old. I don't know how, how long it took. I have no idea. Longest time. Apparently, they do wear clothes, though, so he's just naked. <laughs> <laughs> we also incorporate Robot Chicken into our yes. Star Wars universe. Yeah, it belongs Which, if you so. love Star Wars and you haven't seen Robot Chicken Star Wars, you should totally check All that out. All of them. And great. also, um, um, Family Guy Star Wars. Uh, I don't really like that one that much. It's okay. They're all pretty. The Family Guy one is okay, we like but it's not. It's not as even close to funny as Robot Chicken. It's not Look how much more comfortable we are shooting stuff now. It's still not as more, as comfortable as. <laughs> see, Family Guy is pretty audience safe, whereas Robot Chicken is like on the edge of. He likes absolute, it risky. It's, it's super risky. Super risky. Right? We do like Robot. Yeah, it's really okay. Risky. Okay. Next Star Wars. Thing. Favorite, absolute best spaceship in the Star Wars universe. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna have to think of that. Hold on. While I make this dog lay down. The ghost. Oh yeah, the ghost. The ghost. No, no, no. What? No. Why not Hold the on. Ghost? Hold on. Why not the ghost? I'm gonna tell you my favorite Star Wars spaceship of all time. Wait, wait, where? What is your? The ghost, man. Where are you going? She's left me alone with the camera. This is not. A, Good choice. What are you doing? Oh, 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 yeah. The Millennium Fucking Falcon. Thank you very much. 
the ghost is how can this not be no more awesome version but the ghost the isn't is the ghost is barely in rogue one it's not in any actual movie what is it in rebels right? rebels, rebels. which still, is awesome it's still my i think it's the best but most people don't know which the fuck you're talking about and look at how let me just let me just add that the ghost never breaks down. Like, this is like my favorite like Star that, Wars purchasable. That hunk of junk breaks down like all the that time. That one's garbage. That's the garbage. The garbage will do. That's garbage. That the Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon. Garbage. No, it's garbage. And the Luminum It's Falcon. really cool, but so it's just not. See, the ghost is almost it's Corellian. So its design is the same, except for the cockpit is in the center and it's larger for more cargo. The ghost is more of a cargo ship. Whereas this is, a, is a, a, a blockade runner, right? It's fucking awesome. It is pretty awesome. Oh, hold on. Ahsoka, come here, honey. Come here. I don't know what there's you're doing. Come on. Dog there you go. Right. That's good. So, all right. Favorite lightsaber design? I, I don't know that question. Really? You don't know which lightsaber? Favorite lightsaber color? And not purple, because that's dumb. Obviously, purple. Excuse me. No. Even though purple's awesome, I'm green to the core, even though I'm wearing red right now, which I never fucking do. I like. But we went to Maui Drew Coast, so I'm wearing more. Yeah, I like Ahsoka's indigo lightsabers. Indigo is purple. Indigo is very, very. You can't say purple, uh, but my favorite is indigo. Hey, look at my, my face mask, Lucky. <laughs> I don't. Okay, so. Green. Green. Okay, cool. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I know there's so much more we can discuss, but I'm kind of out of questions at this point. No, you're not. You're I, never out of Star Wars questions. I don't even know what to say. We love Star Wars. I don't even know what to say. Star Wars topics. How many? I don't have my glasses 20 on. 22 ish minutes. minutes we've been ranting I, through. It's not ranting, it's Star Wars! It's like a cloud of alcohol. Favorite secondary character? Oh. Ahsoka Tano. Oh. Uh, Which is who I dog eat. You don't know, she's not in any of the movies. She's in um, Clone Wars. But she's in Clone Wars and Rebels. And Rebels. And she's got her own books and comic book series. And she's awesome. And she, okay, so Ahsoka Tano is Anakin's apprentice before, obviously, he turns to the dark side. Right. So it's what, between ep movie episode two and movie episode yes. three. Anakin was Wars awarded episode. the Jedi Knight during the Clone Wars, beginning of the Clone Wars, and then he was given Ahsoka as his Padawan. Um, she's awesome. She has two lightsabers. She does. But she leaves the Jedi Order because the Jedi's blamed her for a crime that another Padawan actually was committing for murders. Right? They blamed her because the other Padawan was setting up to look like her. So she left the Jedi Order, yet she retained her Jedi powers and she retained her double lightsabers the entire time. Well, just because you leave a job doesn't mean you don't have the same this is true. skills. This is true. <laughs> So, favorite secondary character, Bosk. Because he's so polite, he takes his shoes off. <laughs> yeah, again, robot chicken. Manners are their own Manners are their own reward, reward gentlemen. <laughs> you want to explain to them who Bosk is if somebody doesn't know? Bosk is, one of, is the lizard like bounty hunter from Empire Strikes Back. Bounty hunters. You he's don't bounty hunter. He's also all over Clone Wars in many different places. Yeah. Let's talk about the real shit. The real shit. How is that not real There's shit? siblings, you sick bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Maybe they kiss so Luke and Leia kiss three times, right? Three. Like three four. Three. No, it's three. Four. It's three. They kiss a lot. Before they're like, oh, we're, just, we're totally twins. Yeah. What I don't get is if they have all these Jedi powers, they're like Jedi kids. How do you not know? How do you not know? Maybe you don't know, but like you like each other so much because you're like, oh, I really have a connection with that person. And then you're like, you know, like. It, it was a connection. No, no. It would. Okay. But then like the like. I feel like global it would be. dude instinct of like, I like the person. The global fuck, dude instinct. Right? Like the whole. You know what I'm saying? Like that like kicks in. And then that's what happened to Luke. He, like his global instinct. His global in. dude. And, Leia. Leia's my sister. And she's like, I know. Somehow I've always known. How the fuck? All right, you kissed this bitch on the mouth like three times. Okay, so that was a big deal. All right. Wait, what was that? Favorite scene? No, wait. No, wait. I'm done. Fa best scene in the whole Star Wars trilogy. All the movies. Trilogy. All, of, all of it. One through best, nine? All of it. All of it, all of it. Best Plus scene. Plus the two extras? Yeah, best scene ever. 
Yeah. I know my favorite scene. What can you stand said? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I know. I, I know. The, the oh, well, I know your favorite scene. Yeah. The space battle in the beginning of episode two. Episode two, the Clone Wars, where which is awesome. Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker are in their spaceships, and it's all quiet. Mm-hmm. And the music is mellow, and they're just kind of flying around one of the Star Destroyers, and then or one of the Clone Warrior ships, and then they come over okay. the edge of it, and they're above Coruscant. Uh, Coruscant, excuse me, alcohol Coruscant, and the massive space battle happening. I love that. That scene. is really good. Because all of a sudden, even the music kicks in, and just like that is so dramatic. I have actually watched just that scene several times. Okay, I gotta come back to my favorite scene. scene, but my favorite little um, moment sound bit is right after that when um, Anakin has Dooku and the Emperor oh, yeah. is like, you should kill him, and he's like, do it! Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite sound bit of all of Star Wars. Yeah. Do it! Because when he do gets it. him to kill do like it. that, then he becomes the apprentice. That's why, the dark why, you know, the dark side is always the same. It's just what like, is that? you have to kill, that's a, that's a toy. Okay. That's a stormtrooper. I can't see. That goes in the dust of the toy. Do you have a brownie? Yeah, it's a... Like, it's not a giant centipede. No, it's, it's a toy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear that, that's Steve with brownie. Yeah, he's growling at a toy. <laughs> it's a toy. See? It is a toy. It is a toy. It's a dog toy. Shit. Okay, favorite scene. That's my favorite scene. Other than... Okay. The lesser battle in Rebels between Darth Maul and Obi-Wan. That is so good, man. I have two. God, that's One so involves good. the new movie, you know, so... No, part of it's really good. No, I interrupt you. You know why it's so good, too? Is that when Obi-Wan defeats him with a single fucking lightsaber stroke. I mean, it's, it's not a long lightsaber battle. Darth Maul. It's like, boom, and then he wins. And it's mostly they're just still and posing and getting ready to attack one another. It's very samurai-esque. But Obi-Wan cradles Darth Maul as he's dying. And Darth Maul is like, is he the chosen one? Is he the one to save us all? And Obi-Wan's like, yes, he is. And he's like, I he would get vengeance for us both. And then he dies. I'm just, that's so fucking awesome. Because Darth Maul, as a result of his apprenticeship, this is totally true, as a result of his apprenticeship, his entire fucking planet was eliminated by the Empire. Every person on his planet was killed by the Emperor because of his apprenticeship. That's the like failure a serious his, bummer. The dude. failure of his apprenticeship, the failure of Darth Maul being killed by Obi Wan in the beginning when he was cut in half, which he didn't actually die then, but being cut in half there, the Emperor was so pissed he wiped out the entire. Oh yeah. Planet. So uh, episode oh. one, Darth Maul gets cut in half, and we all assume he does, but he doesn't. If you haven't seen the extra animated series stuff, the Clone Wars, he's like half a little animatronical spider. He goes and he hides. That came on out a really drunk. Yeah, <laughs> he, goes, he hides on a tr- he hides on a trash planet that that oh, where, yeah. where Coruscant drops its trash. So he hides on a trash planet. It's trash planet in Thor. Dude. Anyway, okay. So favorite scene, I have two because I have one, and then potentially this new movie is. Well, still... what's the scene? Okay, so favorite scene before the rise of Skywalker was Han and Leia. When Han is about to be put in the deep freeze, the carbonite, and I love you, I know. That's my favorite scene. Although, in the new movie, in The Rise of Skywalker, at the end, spoilers, she's fighting Palpatine, and he's got, he's, oh, I have all the, the, the Darths on oh, my side. Oh, he has, I have all the Sith inside All the Sith, me. thank you. And she's like, I have all the Jedi, and she already had one lightsaber, and she, you know. Force brings the other one and yep. she does the two cross thing and it's like Rrr! that's fucking awesome that's pretty cool melts his face that's fucking yeah. awesome because she had luke's and Leia's that's probably lightsabers. my new favorite yeah but you know devo's growling at something but han and leia is my all-time favorite love story of ever and ever except for oh, princess bride okay princess bride there's awesome. also princess bride so the, it's like this a This is why it's not Star Wars. No, I know, but I was saying it was my all-time like, favorite love story, and then I was like, wait, is it? But it is, I think. We got married to the Princess Bride theme song. Our officiant was like, Mowage. Mowage. We're coming to together. Okay. So, yeah. Han and Leia going into the carbonite. That's your favorite scene. That's so sad. I know. It's kind of like... Heartbreaky, like I love you, and then you're a fucking piece of carbon. I know. 
<laughs> but it's moving and it's amazing mm. and the whole <laughs> I love you I know thing I mean that's a running uh, joke with this time. I, I think I saw that at her wedding I, think I found a card that said that once and I was like oh my god so I got it for a minute it's hanging and on this wall it's just hanging on my wall at the shop yeah, it was, yeah. studio Han and Leah greatest love studio cool cool I don't really I'm we love Star Wars <sighs> I'm ready to like zone out and watch some Star Wars, man. We and just watched all the Star Wars. We didn't finish Clone Wars or it, Rebels or this new TV series. We haven't even seen the rest of this new that's The Resistance. Bullshit. The Resistance isn't that good. It's some kid who's not even like has Jedi powers, which makes no. it really boring. Because when it was like Rebels with Ezra and it's like this kid who's like, oh, I'm doing all this stupid shit and fucking up. At least he has these extra little kick of Jedi powers to make it interesting. Yeah. This new one is just like the stupid fucking and Rebel, kid. And you're Rebels like, is uh, dark, actually. Rebels is really dark. Because everything's going Ezra's wrong. It's a little dark and we think Ezra might be Snoke. But we don't know. No, no, it's confirmed. Ezra is not is Snoke. It? Snoke was engineered by the Emperor. He said that, and in, Why? The, in the vat How were Snoke he... bodies. When we, when we, oh, we yeah, remember, right. he engineered Snoke. Snoke How was... does he keep engineering all the shit? Cause because didn't he engineer Shmi's pregnancy to create Anakin in the first because place? Because he has the power that uh, uh, his mentor had to affect the midi Darth, Darth Plagueis. Plagueis. His mentor was Darth Plagueis. He killed Darth Plagueis. But he <gasps> Maybe learned, one of the... Okay, so... Remember? The, he learned Darth Plagueis' secrets. And when he was talking to Kylo Anakin. Ren oh. in the new movie, he was like, I thought you were dead. He was like, the dark side has all kinds of unnatural abilities. The same that thing fun, some he fun said to, to be Anakin. unnatural. Same thing he said to Anakin. Same thing he said, right? Palpatine is... Right, and I mean, he's totally dead Saint... again, and yet you're like, okay, no, he's probably not. his career <laughs> goes from turning Gungan eggs to a school lunch program. <laughs> Robot chicken. Robot chicken. <laughs> Gungans are people too, man. Right, so he saves the Gungan eggs. He should be in the <laughs> All right, and then he whatever. I'm too much. Our favorite Robot Chicken Star Wars joke is they always drop their robes everywhere, and you everywhere. see it in all the movies. Like, Have you ever counted? Every time the Jedi or the Sith fight, a robe comes off. Do they ever like, pick them up? Is their robes are us? Is their Jedi robes are us? Do they ever pick is up their, their Sith robes? Their Sith robes are us? There are Jedi robes. Who finds all these robes? Lying everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're always dropping the ropes and they never go back for them. If I lived in their galaxy, if you ever see or everything, universe, especially when they we escape, would open a fucking rope store. Jedi is like, whew, I'm out of here. Where's the rope? Where's the rope? They left it back there. Where's the rope? Where? How many backup ropes you know are you required to really have? Good job. If you have a lightsaber. At that point in history, would be a really good job to be a rope maker. Rope maker. Salesman. Because job security that's what i said if we lived in their universe we, we would, would be rope robes. makers we'd be hey we would sell jedi robes we would hey sell robes. One. we don't discriminate i got three do you everybody buy all who of them needs right a robe now? can get a fucking robe with the hood i got three with you can buy all three at once maybe save five dollars come to the docks <laughs> <laughs> we got dark side robes people still growling what are you growling at he's growling at that toy go get it he's growling at the toy he, We've been watching so much Star Wars, we haven't given them much exercise. We have so not. He's a little crazy. And last couple days, we had to do some stuff for the shop. We have our yearly thing coming up with the state. So we had to prepare the shop. And we're, we're beyond ready. It's amesing. We're triple A rated. Oh, um, so we, we've just been super busy, and Star Wars has been super fun. And oh like, my god, we love Star Wars. We, as always. If you haven't ever seen a Star Wars, you're I, not. I mean, you, oh my god. Yeah. Watch them. Okay, here's the question. What's we question? we had somebody ask us this question. We were like, ooh, I don't know. If you're starting over and you've never seen Star Wars ever, should you start from episode one or episode four? Episode one. Really? I really think that. I think that you should start at episode one so that you can watch the span of the movies because it's just one, two, and three do explain so much and introduce you to a background that was kind of intended, right? So his... He had the background written, right? But he, of course, as time went on, he added more to them and refined his beginning, right? 
I definitely think you should, you should watch start it with one. chronological. So one, two, three. Four, five, six. No, row one. One, two, three, row one. Yeah. And then solo in there somewhere. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you could do it that way. As you you don't even have to watch Solo to get the gist of the Star Wars True. universe, though. But I would hit Rogue One before A New Hope episode. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Because that's, that's chronological. Good. That's right. the way it comes out. Uh, Timeline-wise, you should watch it like that. I, I think that. And then you don't have to but watch all the cartoons. But you didn't know what to say when that person asked us like three years ago. You were like, oh, I don't know. Well, yeah. I, think, I, I, I guess, yeah, if you I were think starting that, it for I'm the first time. I'm not going to mention that person's name, but I don't think they really give a fuck about Star Wars. And they were just like, what should I really watch? And I'm like, you're a full-grown adult. You haven't seen Star Wars at all yet? You should see Star Wars. No, who was that? Only her. Anyway, watch Star Wars. Moving on. I don't remember who it was. Dude? Moving on. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I did not take a hint. <laughs> so... We love Star Wars. We're yeah. going to have to have more Star Wars I'm, discussions because this is fun. I'm kind of sobering up. I'm, I'm good. I think I'm good. I want to eat my chicken sandwich and watch some television. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, I want to eat my chicken Thanks sandwich. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Oh, mask. Mask. Today, I am wearing mask. This is like the least important uh, part, but we, conti we continue to show it to you anyway. Green tea volcanic mud facial mask. Oh, that's what I I, I like these because it's the green tea thing. You know, I, I did I had a sip of coffee today and I did not like it. That's very it's weird. Into his matcha. Really into matcha lately. It makes me feel really good. I don't really understand. I think that I'm actually just getting older. Next thing you know, I'll be like, can I have some prune juice? <laughs> Won't that be the day? I have Burt's Bees. I need my fiber and my prune juice. <laughs> Detoxifying clay mass <laughs> with charcoal and acai oil. That's mine. No, no, you already had your turn. <laughs> Come on. I can't see if you can uh, see that because I am blind as shit. I'm not wearing They can't my glasses see it. Right. You gotta like touch on the hook, touch on the screen. <laughs> there. Is it? That's good enough. I'm not Get out of my faces. That, 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 that. Um, thank Watch you. Watch Star Wars. It's fucking awesome. Star Wars is awesome. We love, we love Star, Star Wars. Thank you for watching Thanks us. Thanks for watching. Thumbs this up. This time. Give check us, out our other videos. Check out our videos. Give down. us a like and all that. Uh, we will potentially be much more sober in our next videos. We will. We will. Um, thank it's God that we're... Fun. Yeah, it is kind of fun. But, you know, we are in our 40s. Cheers to Star Wars. Cheers to Star Wars. Drink it. All right. You guys, mahalo. See you next time. I'm recording. I don't know. It's, we've had so much alcohol this weekend. I don't even know what to do. I think we're recording. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready either. Are we still recording? Yep. Aloha. Welcome to Mass Movie Reviews. I'm Adam. No, no. We're going to start that over. No, wait. Wait. I'm Adam. Okay. We'll just let it go. Start, start. Just let it go. Just let it go. We're starting over. Go ahead. Uh, Where's the camera? Over there. I don't know. It's there. Okay, so I, I don't have my glasses on. I can't see nothing. I can't see shit! Okay, <laughs> start over. <laughs> start over. Start over. Okay, ready? <laughs> deep breaths, ready? <laughs> 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 I know, I know. Aloha! Deep, deep breaths first, then aloha. <laughs>